Today's beer review, friends and viewers, is this. All the way from Sweden. It is Halo or Halo Sour. That's Halo Sour. Uh, raspberry Lemon Sour. Not a fan of sours, but having said that, the last sour that uh, I had from, from Sweden was not actually that sour. And actually surprisingly good. This then was sent to me by my Swedish subscriber, who I shall not name. This is the last one I have that a, he sent me, so I'm going to make the last one. Hopefully, I say the best till last. I don't, I don't know. Um, there's your cap. Looks like a key or a light bulb. Ding! Lead bulb moment. This is a 330 and it's 4.5%. There you go. I don't know anything about this because I haven't had time to research this. Um, but I do know it's a craft brewery. So, looking forward to this. Um, yeah, so raspberry and lemon sour. That's an interesting mix, right? So, I went ahead at the time and I poured it. What we have here is a fantastic blood. This is like a Virgin Mary, isn't it? Blood Virgin Mary, they call it. A cocktail. As you can see there, it's, it's, it's like tomato juice, it's red, it's dark, certain lights it's orange. I mean, here it looks like a light orange, but on my eye, believe you me, it's like a really blood red. Very sort of rustic, blood red looking colour. Um, small, minimal head, but I uh, can't wait to try this now, especially because of the flavours are a bit odd. I will say that. But if it's anything like the last hour, it will be good. Yeah, you can smell the raspberry, you can smell hints of lemon, mostly raspberry dominated, maybe even a little bit of strawberry there. It smells nice. Reminds me like a, a very sort of weak jam aroma. Not a fan of jam either, I can't stand stuff. Um, yeah, so it looks good, but is it going to taste good? Well, this is what we're going to find out. Is it going to taste sour? You know, sales are renowned for pucking up your face and you, you really sort of have a dry, you know, oh god, you know, your top lip goes right up over your teeth, your tongue just crunches up and yeah, it's really ugh. So, again, the last sale I had was decent and it wasn't sour at all, so let's see what this can offer me, shall we? Cheers. Oh, that's a bit sharp. Very fruity, but uh, I can really taste a lemon, if anything. The lemon's really there. That's basically a lemon juice they put in. So when you get a, a, a fresh lemon, you cut it in half and you juice it. That's basically what that is. I'm not really getting, I'm getting the sharpness as well from the raspberries, but I'm not getting the flavour from the raspberries. All I can taste is a very, very minute amount of raspberry, but mostly lemon. It's um, a dry sort of sour finish. My tongue feels dehydrated. And my mouth feels a little bit dehydrated. I feel like a cotton mouth. But it's not overly sour, it's sour. You can notice it, but it's not overly sour. And it, it gives you that dry feel, very dry feel. The body is very watery, actually. I, 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 I could neck this quite easy, but it's a very light body for what it is. It's low carbonation. In actual fact, you can't even taste the carbonation because you're just so distracted from that sharpness of the lemon uh, and that. But there's not much really in a way of flavour to this, I'll be honest. Now I'm drinking more of it, I'm getting used to that sour. My tongue doesn't feel so dehydrated. And I think what it's doing here is, you start up here and it's sour. You get to about here, you can tolerate it. Here you've gotten used to it. 
So what happens is your, your tongue starts out very dehydrated, your mouth just feels cotton wool Um And eventually what happens is the more you drink it, the more you sort of want it. Your tongue's dehydrated, but the more you drink it, the less dehydrated you feel. Which is really weird, right? But again, you're not getting away from that sound. It's the sound is still there, the lemon is still there. <coughs> if I burp, sign of good beer. Lacing, drips and drabs, not much on the lacing. Still that small head. Small compact bubbles when you really swish it around in the mouth, but you really got to work for that. Not bad for a sour. I think I preferred the other sour. This is my least favourite of the two sours that I was given. So I'm going to mark this out of ten. Well, this is going to be um, this is going to be like a, a four out of ten. It's it's drinkable, but it's not my kind of thing. Uh, I know I, I'm saying, <laughs> you're thinking, wow, boy, Rookie, you've given it a 4 out of 10, but you've, you've made short work of that. Well, it's because it's light. It's so easy to get down. And that's what I'm going to come to in just a second. What have I learned about the Swedish beers that I got sent? Well, simple fact. Every single beer, regard it being a sour, a legitimate beer, craft beer, you know, um, you know, different styles like a malt beer or whatever. One thing I've learned about Swedish beers, not only are they all generally varied, um, you know, there's lots of different array of flavours out there. One thing they've all got in common is the fact that they've all made with proper good water. Every single beer I've had has been smooth, clean. Some of them have been quite crispy, but mostly of like a filtered tap water feel to it. Even if they've used well water or mineral water, it's, it's kind of on that level. So every single beer I've had, despite it being a sour, has had clean water. And that's what I like about the Swedish. It seems to be a trend that they're doing, and I don't know if this is true in what I'm saying. They do use these kind of waters. But there's just something about the water that they use in their beer that makes these extremely palatable. So again, even though they are different styles, and you may or may not like them, there's always coming back to that base of that nice water feel to it. And that's what I like about Swedish beers. They've got some good water that they use, and every single beer is varied from different to different beer. So out of all of the Swedish beers I've had, including Crocodile, which... Uh, I don't I think I reviewed many years ago. If it's on my channel, I'll let you know. If it's not, go and look for it. Overall, then, I can honestly say Sweden is a pretty good country for beer. Um, they're not they're not on the radar, and this is what I think a little bit disturbs me a little bit, because they do have some good beer. And to me, I think if only they got on the market a little bit more, then I think we'll see a lot more people drinking Swedish beers. Can they compete with the big boys? It's questionable. I think they've got a lot, a lot of work to do to compete with the big boys. However, I do believe they have their place in the market. So, well done Sweden. Absolutely good stuff from you guys. You're a good all-rounder. Um, I think you could be coming up in the market maybe years to come. Um, thank you as well to the uh, subscriber, who shall not be named, who sent me this and seven other beers. I really appreciate that. And uh, don't forget fans, if you've liked the video, Give me a thumbs up, comment, and share my videos as well. Tell your friends and family and everyone that loves beer. We all know at least one of those guys, right? Who's got a big beer belly who loves beer. Join me next time for some more beer reviews.